Okay. Um, okay. Um, so, uh, dear. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Um, ATL Rug is our website. How many people have gone recently? <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, so, I'm going to give you a little bit of background and then I'm going to go through the components of the website. And I'm sorry you didn't bring a pillow and a blanket, but hey, you're going to have to stop. Uh, <laughs> about three years ago, I took three versions of our website because just about everybody that had been our leader had created a new generation. So we had a version for real uh, two, three, three, one, I think, and and then we had and and maybe three two, and um, I merged those together and created a ATL rug four. And it's in our web, it's on our account. It's not in my account. And so I added a, a touch tent suite with cucumber at coverage, Travis, Reefy, um, license, and I deployed it to a free, um, the free plan on Heroku and worked with uh, Patrick to get the domain. Uh, Jennifer put the new um, sort of brownish, um, look and feel. Uh, you should have seen it. It looks sort of like a, uh, you know, one of these blogs that you do in 10 minutes at the beginning and really made a lot of nice changes there. We had 17 committers for about 750 commits over the last three years. And uh, recently we upgraded Heroku to the first tier because Heroku did something very clever. They said you couldn't ping it every half hour like I used to. And so um, I had something like Pingdom or something that was pinging, you know, so that it wasn't waking from deep sleep, but just just dozing or whatever. And so, uh, so that's the background. Um, okay, so let's see if I can get this. So, okay, oh dear. Um, how can I get the page to show up here? Turn up mirror or drag it to your other. It's the second screen. What does that mean? Drag. Okay. I'll tell you what. Me... This is a brand new machine for me. So. Keep on talking. I'll see if I can get it up for you. Okay. Okay. Um. So we have the main body. Oops. Um. And then um, the header and the footer, and then the sponsors. And so um, we'll we'll click through. It's over on that screen. Okay, I need to okay. drive it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So way up at the top. Come on up. Where's the header? Nice string. Well. The icon gets you back if you've lost. I don't know why the header's not showing up. Do you know? Here, let me turn on Mary now. Okay. One second. <laughs> Sorry. Thought I could just turn on mirror displays. Mm -hmm. And we'll go out of full screen mode. Ah, well, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so we've got, I can move things around maybe a little yes, bit. Yes. But, can. um, maybe. Oh, wonderful. It's even bad there. Okay. This is a... Oh well. Um, so we'll talk about the footer first. Uh, we get the the meetup 
So all the ways to communicate with the organization are either in the footer or the header. And so we've got um, the GitHub. Um, and this is where I put all the, when you see at the bottom that it says the wiki. So this is your wiki page for, for our website. And that when you, when I ask you for your, so I'll ask for your talk, the slides, I'll put it in this, come on now, put it under this past talks. And, and all, all the past talks are listed here. Um, and so like here's our talk from last year and here's um, the action cable talk with the slides and everything. Um, what else? Um, we have a Twitter account. We have a LinkedIn account. We have um, we have the Tech 404 that we talk about sometimes as a link. We have the um, COC, which is the Code of Contact link at the bottom, so that you can find that very easily. Um, let me get rid of some of these so that. Um, Uh, and the meetup and um, so so this is this is not the right format but it um, these are the tabs at the top the header and so you can see that we have presentations that um, Learn. Oh my goodness! I see what's happening. Gee whiz, man! I don't. Oh. So I'm just going to talk through it. Oh, um, these are the videos that Frank's doing. This is some information about different ways to learn Ruby, and talks about Emerald City, and talks about Rails tutorial, and and those kinds of things. Then you have. Um, some job postings. We have about 14 job postings that different um, employers have put out there. And um, and there's no way to delete them. So that'd be a nice way, nice uh, <laughs> feature if you wanted to add that. And, um, and then hiring someone, this is for resumes. And that'll probably go away uh, since no one's used it. And so um, <laughs> I've taken every pull request, regardless of what I thought, you know, and, and it was all but like an experiment to a certain degree. Um, let's see. Download US. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, history. That was what we talked about, the footer. Um, Oh, future plans. Okay, I told you about, we'll probably delete the tab. And uh, I, had, I had commented out a lot of different um, functionality over the years. And like we had an admin login so that you could propose talks and then like you would approve them. But no one ever used them, they just sent email or they connected through, uh, and so that functionality was sort of not needed, so I commented out, and finally when DHH said that if you comment out code, you are a lousy person, I said, okay, it's time for me to remove that. <laughs> and so, did y'all read that? No. no. It, that's true. Uh, okay, and so, and I've been working on the Rails 5 upgrade, and I'll tell you in a minute about what happened there. And I'm going to rename this and get rid of the four, since four was for the gener uh, Rails 4 kind of stuff. And when we created this for Rails 4 three years ago, Rails was not as advanced as five is right now. And so it was bleeding edge. It was beyond bleeding edge. It was alpha edge when we worked on it early. Um, I went to a development um, conference down in downtown and Sam I was talking about creating a website from scratch and he said we got all these other ones why don't you 
look at those. So that's one of the things. So, um, well, okay, I'm sorry. I got to do So here's what I've done already on Rails 5. I have, I cloned it without fork. And so I've had one that I've been working over the last, say, six months. And um, so I know I created the equivalent of the blog and where we had like 10 different edge versions and then we got down to, you know, we've got only five edge versions of gems now and two betas. And this was about a week ago. There was a couple of lines in the config environment files that have changed. And, and also the post create now needs parameters around it instead of, and, um, and it works. And it's called ATL Rug 5. It's under my account, J A Snow. But when I got when I pushed it up to Heroku, it blew up on me. And I meant I was going to ask, um, migrations have changed in five. Everybody know that, right? Rails 5? They're now versioned. And so when you update, they want a number at the top of the block. To say 2.4.2.5.0, that say where it got where it came from, and so Travis just threw up on me. <laughs> That's a very official term. And so, uh, so I'm still working on that a little bit. That snuck in a little bit, and so, but this is supposed to be a lightning talk. Um, <laughs> any other questions? I know. Uh, oh, if if people are interested in contributing to the website, please come talk to me or email me. You find my email at the bottom of my slides and everything. Um, or if we have ideas, there were all kinds of things we could have done. But we sort of put it in maintenance mode after a while, after we got most of this shaken out early on. And, and if, you really want, if you want to do something brand new, that would be cool too if you want. Otherwise, we'll just keep this running because it, it's more like a, you know, a landing page to a certain degree. So, any questions? Okay. Thank y'all. This video has been sponsored by Rietta Incorporated. Learn more today at rietta.com.